What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove fingerprints on your Samsung Galaxy phone. I'll show you to you on this Galaxy S22 Ultra and also on this Galaxy Z Fold 4. It's the same thing, but just so you know, you'll see an under, under the screen fingerprint sensor and also a fingerprint sensor that's on the power button. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Uh, first on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, what you want to do is you want to go into settings so swipe down and then hit the gear in the top right to go to settings next what you want to do is you want to go into where it says security and privacy tap on that and then from here go down a little bit more and you're going to see biometrics tap on biometrics and then you're going to see fingerprints you can see i have one already added so i can tap on that and it's asking for my pin or my swipe code so put that in once you have that in on your phone what you're going to do here is you can either you have these different fingerprints here so you can you know tap on the fingerprint i can rename it if i want and then after i'm done renaming i can hit save so what we'll do next is we'll add it and then i'll remove one so i'm gonna hit add fingerprint and hit register and i just need to press my thumb and you could use really any finger you want but with a thumb it's probably going to work the best if you think about the way you hold your phone it's generally either like this or your left hand or your right hand. So whatever your predominant hand is, for me, it's holding it with my right hand. So I will put my right thumb. That's the most comfortable for me. That's the one that makes the most sense. I'm gonna hit done on that. So now I have two fingerprints. The second one is the one that I just added. The first one would be the original one that I added. Now, if I wanna remove one of these, all I'm gonna do is hit fingerprint and remove. And then it's just gonna say remove fingerprint. So as long as you don't remove all your fingerprints, anything that uses a fingerprint, won't be affected so that's how you add it and remove it on a regular traditional under the screen galaxy phone next we'll try it on this galaxy z fold 4 this has a fingerprint on the side so i'm going to swipe down from the top hit the gear in the top right go down until you see security and privacy and tap on that then from here scroll down a little bit more go to biometrics i have face recognition and fingerprints i'm going to tap on fingerprints put in my code and then after I put my code in, I can either add a fingerprint or delete the current one. I'll just add one right real quick. And it's telling me it's on the side. So I'm definitely gonna use my thumb. My wife on hers uses her index finger. So whatever's more comfortable to you, but I like the thumb. I think that makes more sense. You can see we're almost done. This one takes a little bit more work, but I find this one to be, I don't know, a little bit more accurate and a little bit more fitting my lifestyle because the way I hold it, it just makes more sense to me. So I love having the fingerprint sensor on the power button itself. Hit done when you're done. And then from here, it says one or more fingerprints were detected uh, in Samsung wallet to verify your pin to verify your identity. So what I can do now is I can remove one. So I'll just remove the one I just added. So I'll tap on that, hit remove, and then remove again. And that's how you add it. A couple of other cool tricks that you might want to know about. Uh, fingerprint unlock, I would definitely turn that on. Fingerprint always on, especially on this Galaxy phone, I would also have that on. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.